almost like an upside down pyramid, okay? Because everyone. <laughs> it's not a pyramid scheme, it's an inverse funnel. <laughs> I can't believe this is real! I can't believe this is real! I can't believe he's drawn a pyramid to show what the corporate world is like and he's drawn an upside down pyramid underneath to show what an MLM is. That's so fucking funny! Hello lovely people, my name is Emma and I love to learn. I'm always here to learn new things and try new things and figure new stuff out. So when someone sends me an educational video, I'm all about checking that out. Sometimes it pays off. You learn beautiful new things about the world. Sometimes you get so frustrated that you want to cry. Today we are going to be looking at a video I was sent over Instagram of a gentleman who does network marketing slash multi-level marketing explaining the differences between multi-level marketing and a pyramid scheme, which is something that could be broadly educational. There are a number of problems from the offset, the first being obviously we know this gentleman is in an MLM and therefore he's approaching the topic with a level of bias. I became frustrated with this within the first couple of minutes, so I'm going to share this with you. What I'm really interested to know is if he's going to actually talk about what makes a pyramid scheme, or if he's just going to fall back on the single line, which is that MLM has product. Which is something that I've talked about a lot in my previous videos. A multi-level marketing scheme is effectively a pyramid scheme with bells on. It is exactly the same financial model as a pyramid scheme but it has product and it doesn't always force you to buy in and so on. I will also predict that he's going to say that pyramid schemes are illegal and therefore he would never do them and why would anybody do this? What we do is totally legal and therefore completely fine. So we already know those to be sort of illogical arguments that don't really mean very much. They tend to be the core of the discussion when people in MLM are talking about them, so I'd be really interested to see if this guy gives us any information outside of that. I am not super hopeful if I'm being honest, but hopefully I'm just a pessimist and he will shine a light on the topic and it will be great. I can't remember this guy's name, but um, I don't recognise his face. He's not well known and, you know, he had plenty of comments on his video, but not enough that I would say this is a super famous guy, so I'm going to blur his face, which is going to be a frustrating task because he does this thing where he he does this sort of around the screen all the time. And I am somebody who is very fidgety and moves a lot, so I'm not criticising. It's just going to make my life harder today. <laughs> okay, good evening everyone. Let's just check that we're live. I'm just going to check on my other phone here. I'm going to draw on the whiteboard, so I've had to flip the phone around so whiteboard. all I can see is the camera. So, so um, I'm just going to skip through the sort of intro because it's just him. He is going to explain somewhere around here why he's doing a video in front of a whiteboard. I thought it was a wall, but it's actually a big whiteboard. So kind of excited as to where this is going. I ho I really hope he draws a pyramid. If he draws something pyramid shaped, I will be so happy. Thank you to everyone that jumped on my live last weekend, I think it was. So I did this video about 2015, maybe end of 2014, early 2015, when I was just starting out in this business of network marketing. And I Note that down. Somebody note that down. 2015, he was just starting in network marketing. He's been in it for six years. I always think it's worth noting when somebody starts and how long they've been doing it. And then if you can find out the company they're working for, you can kind of use that to see how, by how well they're doing, how much the date might have contributed. I just think that's always interesting to note. So 2015. I actually saw it on a video from a guy that was very successful in network marketing, is very successful in network marketing, and he's from the UK. And I saw his uh, video on YouTube and I was like, wow, that's so good. That's exactly how I, would, how I need to explain it, right? So um, shout out to James Lavelle because I, I stole this from him uh, all those years ago and I probably won't do it as good as him. Um, so don't try and compare the two. But I'm just going to give you guys a little insight into one of the common misconceptions that I hear all, not all the time, but I hear from people in network marketing. So to clarify, he is going to rehash for us a video that he watched six years ago that explained everything perfectly. He hasn't said about what yet. We are a minute and a half in. Don't know what he's going to talk about yet. Why doesn't he just link the video? Why doesn't he just link the guy's video? If the guy explained it really well and he doesn't think he'll do it justice, just link the guy's original video. It's headphone time. I have this video saved as bro dude. I can't remember what his name is. I have a feeling it might be Joe. I have a feeling it might be Joe, but I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> now, this time pyramid scheme, I 
first Pyramid heard scheme. it when I obviously started on this Here journey. I never heard of it before, right? So I'm all excited about starting this new venture, what set what's going to the top and work building my own business and achieving my goals. He's just started it's it's six years ago, cast your minds back. Joe, for want of a more accurate name, we're gonna call him Joe now, whether that's his name or not, sorry mate. I really hope it's Joe. <laughs> Joe is fresh faced and new and he's just joining a company and he's ready to go to the top and the top of what? <laughs> the top of what, Joe? It's not a it's not a pyramid, is it? That would be no, that would be silly, wouldn't it? It kind of just not gonna be a pyramid. He's all excited to go to the top, and this is the first time he's ever heard the term pyramid scheme. Then I go away and start telling people about it, what I'm doing, all excited about the company, about the business model. And a couple of people that were close to me, friends, family, they're like, oh, it's one of those pyramid schemes. And I was like, well, what's that? What's a pyramid scheme? So, fantastic. So, <laughs> so first of all, fantastic that he told some friends and family and their immediate response was, oh, one of those pyramid schemes. Those are the friends and family that you want in your life. Maybe, you know, maybe not the most constructive approach, but they uh, they knew what was up. So the other thing worth noting here is that he had no idea what a pyramid scheme was until he started network marketing. That, again, if we're going to talk about bias, his only understanding of what a pyramid scheme is and what the dangers of these schemes are and possibly similarities to multi-level marketing comes from when he was already within multi-level marketing. And he, as he said earlier... His main source of information for this came from somebody who was in network marketing. He's basically, he's not had the background that many of us have of knowing what a pyramid scheme is and then becoming aware of MLM and being like, that's so similar to a pyramid scheme, why would people do that? He's not, he's not had that, only had the MLM experience of what is a pyramid scheme and why are people calling this thing a pyramid scheme? Now that was, to, to be fair, that was six years ago. So possibly through the rest of this video, he'll explain that he, you know, he went away and did research and has since learned many more things. That could be completely true. Um, and, you know, if that comes up, then we'll deal with it when it comes to it. But I just want to lay this foundation and pick up things as we go. I think it's really important that he didn't know what a pyramid scheme was until he was in network marketing. And then he learned what it was from somebody else who was in network marketing. And when I say network marketing, I mean MLM. It's because he's using the terms interchangeably. I am aware that you can be a network marketer without being in an MLM company, which is a completely different situation. I'm talking about MLM specifically, obviously. Obviously, I had to start looking and Googling and what is a pyramid scheme, and that's the first time I heard of this term. Now people banding it around, and they don't even know really what it means, so... <laughs> people abandon it around without really knowing what it means, whereas I had no idea what it meant, and I Googled it. Maybe he's going to say something really amazingly... Maybe he's going to give something like really detailed and sound really impressive and explain it really well and I'm just going to feel like an absolute shit. <laughs> I, I would really love it if that was what happened. What I did with my research is I realised that actually a pyramid scheme was a thing years ago, uh, back in the uh, 80s, I believe, 80s, where well, um, people, it's now illegal, where people were giving money to people and it was part being passed up a chain or something like that, and someone at the top was making loads of money. So they weren't no products. Okay. Um, well, he, he said he said it. He said the thing. That's one for me on my bingo card. So, okay. So, yeah. Um, pyramid schemes were popularised in the 80s because of this kind of freedom movement. Um, he, dem he, he doesn't demonstrate really any understanding of what it was, what the movement was. He, you know... I would, in my discussion of this topic, I would probably give a little history of things like the aeroplane game and uh, Ponzi schemes that had predated that and, and just a bit of context, you know, historical context. I'm hoping that as we go forward, he is going to explain what a pyramid scheme is because what he's just said is that they people are handing money up or something, is what he said. So I'm just going to rewind so I'm going to hear what he says again because it, it was amusing. It's now illegal where people were giving money to people and it was part being passed up a chain or something like that. It was being passed up a chain or something like that. I mean, well, yeah, I mean, in a very, in a very, very basic sense, that's, that sort of covers a bit of what a pyramid scheme is, but it doesn't help us explain it at all. It doesn't help anyone who could potentially be roped into a pyramid scheme identify it or know what it is. A pyramid scheme, it started in the 80s or something, it's now illegal. People were passing money around. There was no product. That's what we've got from 
Joe so far. Do you know what? Joe looks a little bit like an older version of somebody I went to university with. Now that I've seen that, I cannot unsee it. When are you going to start drawing on the whiteboard? Like that and someone at the top was making loads of money. So there weren't no product, it was just people giving money to other people. I don't know why people- It was just people giving money to other people. And yeah, hindsight's a bitch, right? Like why- why would anyone do that? I'm pretty sure- in fact I know because I'm in a lot of groups, people who used to be in MLMs, a lot of people look back at their time in MLMs the same way and say, how could I have fallen for that? Why did I do that? And they react in exactly the same way as Joe is about pyramid schemes. It's not very understanding. <laughs> it's not, uh, not hugely considerate. So I thought, okay, well, of course that's illegal. Like, it sounds illegal from, from, from what it I read. It sounds illegal. So pyramid schemes are illegal, okay? So now I'm it sounds, it just sounds illegal. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> no, it's because it's because you know from, you know, even if you don't know what a pyramid scheme is, contextually you're aware that it's something illegal. Oh, there's so many problems with this on so many levels because, you know, legal doesn't mean moral. Legal doesn't equal moral. I'm ready for the elaboration. Martin is not a pyramid scheme. However, people still have that misconception. So I'm going to explain why it's not. Well, explain the it first number one reason is that um, there's a product or service tax rate. It's a, it's a business. If we sell a product, we make money. If we don't sell a product, we don't make any money. Yes and lie. Okay, I don't know what company he works for. Maybe in his company that's true. Although I'm not aware of any multi-level marketing company that doesn't have another way to make money other than selling product to an end consumer. That's an important aside. So again, bingo. There's my bingo. An MLM isn't a pyramid scheme because it has a product or service. Yes, 100% absolutely true. And it is what every MLM rep will say if you make the comparison to a pyramid scheme. If I was watching this live, obviously he's he's not able to see comments because of the whole whiteboard situation, but if I was in a live discussion with him, my follow-up question would be, okay, but what about all the other similarities? Okay, that's good. There's a product or service. Put that to one side. What about the entire recruitment structure that is very similar to a pyramid scheme? The second thing he said was that if we don't sell a product, we don't make any money. In almost every MLM, there is a joining fee. In many of them, there is a monthly fee. Technically, you sort of are selling a product in that situation, but the only way, this is this is a really important discussion actually in the topic of MLMs avoiding, you know, being classed as illegal pyramid schemes, it's that the people who join to become business owners are in fact the main consumers. And companies like Herbalife, for example, if you've not seen Betting on Zero, please watch it. Such a good documentary. Quite old and out of date now, but it showcases the way that Herbalife had to slightly change their business structure. It's very interesting. It's kind of heartbreaking to see the stories of people who have been hurt by it, but um, I digress. The fact is that if you were honestly, legitimately considering consumers to be end consumers who buy from sales reps and you're not calling representatives who are trying to build a business if you don't call them consumers then that's not true you don't need to sell a product do not need to sell anything to an end consumer for it to be multi-level marketing you just need to recruit that's the that's why it's likened to a pyramid scheme because you make money recruiting you make the majority of your money by recruiting because your downline is going to a buy will buy in for whatever amount buy whatever products they need to to join they're going to pay the company their membership fees if that's applicable and then as time goes on they're going to require depending on depending again on the company every mlm every single mlm i've looked into has heavily heavily suggested that you need to showcase the products you need to live the life before you can convince others to join so you have to buy products to show in videos you have to buy products to test you have to buy regularly for yourself whether it's supplements or makeup or whatever there is no requirement to sell to an end consumer in order for the company to make money which is the essence of what a pyramid scheme is it's just in this case the business builders do get a product. They're just misled into thinking that that's helping them build their business instead of just buying a product. Like any other business in the world, okay? But what I'm gonna do is not try and explain the differences because I think that's a different video. I'm gonna explain <clears throat> a different viewpoint on a pyramid scheme. And then uh, hopefully it will give you guys open your mind a little bit to maybe have a look, a deeper look into maybe why network marketing is not a pyramid scheme and it might open your mind to the business model 
in general. I'm very confused about what he's going to do. We're almost four minutes into a ten minute video and I feel like he hasn't said anything yet. <laughs> so he's not going to explain the differences between an MLM and a pyramid scheme. He's going to take an alternative look at what a pyramid scheme is to open our minds to network marketing. I've got no idea where this is going, but he seems to be getting ready with his whiteboard marker. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about jobs, okay? Because that, that's where it all starts, oh, right? Oh no. All companies in the world... Is he going to say every company is a pyramid? Is he going to say every company is a pyramid? Fucking, I should have made a bingo card! ...have a pyramid structure. Yeah! And <laughs> I think this is what people mean. And maybe when I explain it in a different way, no, it's not they what people mean. Oh, okay, actually, uh, maybe I need to look at what I'm doing more in this network marketing industry. So when you look at a traditional company, it's, it's generally like a pyramid. Oh, shape. he's going to draw a pyramid. And what I mean by that is you've got the CEO at the top, then you've got directors, then you've got management. Excuse my handwriting, it's terrible. Oh, your handwriting is fine, my lovely. It's going to be every single MLM rep talking about pyramid schemes ever. It's it's just every single thing from the playbook. There's nothing new so far. I really, I genuinely wanted him to tell us something new, something interesting, but he's just going through the motions. Every company's a pyramid scheme. Corporate America's the real pyramid scheme. Pyramid schemes are illegal. Then you've got the supervisors. Then you've got all the workers, right? These are the, the shop floor staff. Okay, you've got the CEO of Apple, you've got directors, you've got the management, you've got the supervisors, and then you've got the workers, okay? Obviously, these are paid the most, and these are paid the least. True or true, okay? So, there's only ever one CEO, right? Probably millions of workers that work in Apple shops around the world. Would you agree? Probably. And they're normally the lowest paid, okay? Now, if I was to ask you, do you think someone here, as a worker, working in an Apple shop, selling their phones and laptops, what are the chances of that person going to the top and becoming a... If I was to ask you, Joe, I'm going to say Herbalife because that's the one I've already mentioned. I'm also going to not call it Herbalife. What are the chances, Joe? Is it possible for somebody at the bottom as a sales rep to become the CEO of Herbalife? Is it zero? Is it zero? It's exactly the same, is it? Well then, what's the point of this diagram? Yes, I did just hit myself in the chin with my thumb. It is just as unlikely for me to become the CEO of the company I work for as it is for Joe to become the CEO of his MLM. It's not going to happen for either of us. Virtually impossible, right? Virtually, Virtually impossible. Virtually next Correct. to no chance of that person becoming a CEO. Just okay? like in an MLM. So your cat, you might get become a supervisor where then you've got a load of people fighting for the same job, you might get up to management even. Got a load of people fighting for the same job. What an interesting thing to say, in a throwaway manner, what an interesting thing to say when one of the huge problems with multi-level marketing is the saturation of the market because there are so many people vying to become managers and to become higher on the that's the other thing right i don't have to recruit anyone to move up the ladder on my job i just have to do my job in my corporate job i start at the bottom of the ladder i worked for a year i got promoted every year my salary goes up every year everyone in the company has a salary review in an mlm you have to recruit people to move up the ladder you have to recruit people you have to make certain numbers of sales. The people you recruit have to make certain numbers of sales. It is just so much more work than just having to do your job and be motivated and be good at it. It's way easier to move up in the corporate world than it is in MLM. If you're, if you're really good, but to get up to that point, it's probably going to take you like 20, 30 years, okay? And give you an example. There's someone that might start here 20 years old, you know, they work for the company, work so hard. You know, they're there for 10 years, they become a supervisor, and then 20, 30 years on, they become management. But virtually no chance of getting right to the top, okay? So there's a yes, lot which there of also isn't in the MLM, so please move fighting on. fighting to get to the top and earn more, but there's only ever one room for one person at the top. Now that looks... That's another thing. I don't know what... The, again, MLM is very money-driven. It's interesting to hear a a uk guy talk about this as well because it a lot of this kind of fight for the top make the most money be the most 
wealthy person in the company thing is very much sort of hinges on the whole American dream. So it's interesting to hear a British perspective on it. There's there's nobody and again, I'm basing this on my own experience, right? I mean, I, I don't work for Apple, obviously. So maybe maybe things are different here. But I don't know that everybody is fighting to be the CEO. I think sometimes people do a job they enjoy and they get a regular salary for it. Maybe one day they'll be in a higher position, but they're just doing their job for a salary because they enjoy it and they get paid. Why does it have to be that you have to fight to be the C? Like, you know, why does he have this idea that everyone is fighting to get to the top spot in a company? That's definitely not my experience. It's a bit like a pyramid scheme to me, okay? These no, it's not. Do not. See, you see, I've accidentally skipped ahead 30 seconds. Do you see, this is, he, he claims to now understand what a pyramid scheme is, but he clearly doesn't. Because oh, it's so frustrating. It really is, fr and it's a shame because he's a very likable guy. Again, I do, I often think that's worse because the people who make these kind of videos, they do come across as so likable and friendly. This guy smiles a lot. He's very down to earth and cheerful. He's got a really magnetic personality. I think this is the kind of guy you would like to listen to because he seems really nice. Um, and that makes you want to listen to him, which makes him more dangerous because he doesn't know what he's talking about. He clearly demonstrates that he doesn't know what a pyramid scheme is because he is feeding into this crazy fallacy that the corporate world is a pyramid scheme because you can draw it in a pyramid. A pyramid scheme? You probably all know this, but I'm going to say it anyway just to counter Joe's argument. A pyramid scheme is a business model which recruits people by promising rewards for recruiting others. Do you, in your corporate job, have to recruit people to make money or move up? No, you don't. In that way, it is nothing like a pyramid scheme. There is nothing remotely pyramid scheme-like about the corporate structure he just demonstrated. There is nothing pyramid scheme-like about it. Pyramid schemes are way more similar to MLM than to the corporate world. It's ignorant. I'm sorry to be rude, because like, he does seem like a really nice guy, even if I've got his name completely wrong. It's ignorant. It's massively ignorant. It's perpetuating these idiotic myths about what a pyramid scheme is. This regurgitating of this same information without putting the effort in to actually understand what you're saying is why it keeps bouncing around forever and why so many MLM reps, when they're challenged on the concept of why it's so similar to a pyramid scheme, will just say these same things. Oh, the corporate world is a pyramid scheme. How is it? There's no recruiting involved. Recruiting is at the core of a pyramid scheme. Recruiting is the core of a pyramid scheme. Recruiting is the core of a pyramid scheme. Recruiting has zero impact on you just doing your salaried job in a corporate structure. It has nothing to do with it. Do you know why? Because there's an HR team that are in charge of recruitment. Because recruitment is based on skill, they recruit people who get a salary or an hourly wage or whatever. There is no similarity there. There is no similarity there. The similarity, that is why MLM is likened to pyramid schemes. If everyone was just being silly, and all of the people who liken pyramid schemes to MLMs just don't understand that really the corporate world is a pyramid scheme, then we would all be fucking morons. That would make everyone in the world an idiot. All right, okay, so we've drawn a pyramid and we've said that the corporate world, the corporate world is a pyramid. Let's move on another viewpoint on the same thing now let's look at the network marketing business model it's almost like an upside down pyramid okay because everyone <laughs> it's not a pyramid scheme it's an inverse funnel <laughs> I can't believe this is real. I can't believe this is real. I can't believe he's drawn a pyramid to show what the corporate world is like and he's drawn an upside down pyramid underneath to show what an MLM is. That's so fucking funny. Please carry on. At the bottom, okay? Everyone starts at the bottom. That no, everyone <laughs> everyone doesn't start at the bottom. The CEO of Herbalife didn't start at the bottom and then work his way up to CEO. He's always been the CEO. MLMs, okay, right, I, because I'm a nerdy loser, I follow a lot of news sites about network marketing and things like that. They hire externally. CEOs are brought in because they've got experience in network marketing. You don't work your way up from rep to CEO. It's not true. He must know that. He must, he must know. 
that you can never be the CEO of the MLM. He must know that. He must know you won't be management. It's very, very unlikely that you would progress from a sales rep to a manager or a CEO. They're their own little normal corporate pyramid, if you want to call it that. And then this is a mini pyramid beneath it with everyone at the bottom. You'll never be the CEO of Unique. You'll never, you, you, you can join as a rep, it will never happen. You'll never be the CEO of Juice Plus. To say that that's what everyone is striving for and everyone can be is is lying. It's, it's just lying. It's, it's a falsehood. Company X, okay? I'm not going to compare any company. Very let's wise. say Company X. Let's uh, say the average income at this level, at the top, is around 20,000 a month. 12 okay. months is, what, 240,000 a year, okay? 240k a year. Probably about um, a salary of, of a CEO, okay? Of a, of a normal company. Now, okay. everyone starts at the bottom of this company, but everyone has a chance to be at the top, okay? That's not true. Let's say, so most network marketing companies, they'll have thousands of people all at the top that but all start at the bottom. So the whole concept of network marketing has been able to, for you... Those people, to... those people, again, he's, he's fundamentally avoiding, I want to say intentionally, avoiding including the appropriate context those whatever thousand people who are at the top and if you're in a company of millions that is not a lot of people when he says at the top he means the top level of the mlm pyramid it's misleading because in his corporation pyramid he used ceo director etc and mlms also have directors and ceos they have boards you know they're those senior positions exist and they are not possible to get to from within this upside down pyramid the way he's drawn the upside down pyramid suggests that there are more people in the top level than the bottom which is not true we know for a fact that usually around 90 percent of the company are in the lowest levels that make almost no money we know that for a fact the people in that hundreds or potentially thousands at the top of that pyramid again it's not the top of the pyramid as would be an appropriate equivalent because again they can't become the ceo the people who are at the top of the possible levels in the scheme those are the people who started really early already had a built-in following it's really dishonest and again that is the core i'm aware <laughs> i'm aware that is the core of mlm it's just upsetting to see the dishonesty at play it really it really is upsetting my own dreams in this model you're working for somebody else and building their dreams, okay? In network marketing, so are you in you network marketing? At the bottom, you're given a blueprint, you're given an opportunity, and then you stay at the bottom and, then and you do have to it. put the work in to get to the top. But the difference is, there's room for everybody at the top of a network marketing. No, there's not. There's not. You that mathematically there isn't. To be at the top, you have to recruit. Okay, when I talked about, was it the body shop? It might have been the body shop that I did this on, or Unique? I can't remember, I'm sorry. When I did one of those, I very vaguely, in the most sort of basic way, calculated how many people you would need to recruit to be at the top level. Everyone cannot be at the top level because you would run out of people in the world to recruit. That is a lie. It's just not true. There is not room for everyone at the top because for there to be somebody at the top there has to be somebody on the level below you and there has to be somebody below them and there has to be somebody at the bottom. The only way that you maintain this structure, and again, this is the same in a pyramid scheme and why they are similar, to maintain this structure, you have to keep recruiting people into the bottom. For people to keep moving up, ow, <laughs> for people to keep moving up, people have to keep being recruited. You cannot, you fundamentally, cannot have everyone at the top there is not room for everyone at the top never mind that this is entirely separate to upper management anyway who you will never reach there is not room for everybody at the top level of an mlm and there is a reason that the majority of people in an mlm between like 80 and 90 percent usually are at the bottom level and they stay at the bottom level and you can pretend it's because they don't work hard enough but in the end you're staring down the face of very unfriendly statistics everybody does no. anyone make it? Of course not, because it, it's a lot of hard work, okay? Fucking, I should be some sort of psychic MLM whisperer. I've been able to predict, like, everything. I hadn't watched this. I'd watched the first couple of minutes. I hadn't seen this, and I've been able to predict everything he's said. Yeah, not everyone makes it because it's a lot of hard work. 
fuck off. I'm sorry, not I'm not talking specifically to Joe now. I'm talking in general to the people in MLM who know exactly what they're talking about. Fuck off if you think that 90% of people don't work hard enough. Fuck off if you've not seen the horrifying stories, the devastation that people have gone through, the money, the time, the effort, the relationships that have broken with people working damn bloody hard trying to make this work because you said it was possible. Fuck off if you think that the scheme isn't built against them. Fuck off if you don't think that this deceptive tactic of saying that everyone can make it if they work hard enough is not why people fail and why people lose so much money. I haven't been this annoyed in a while, I think. I think there's just so much, there's so much of the negativity of MLM packed into this one short video. I hate this guilt trip thing that they do where you just didn't work hard enough and it's like everything that you've said so far about how network marketing works is contradictory to facts or is like anti-maths like and yet you're being like well those people just it's your fault yeah some people fail but it's their stupid faults you work very hard you've always been a hard worker and you're still at the bottom of your corporate pyramid but if you join us and you work hard you could do really well it takes on average five years normally to get to the top of a network marketing company but i've seen people do it in four months and i've seen people do it in 10 years so okay he's using an average here Apparently it takes an average of, I don't know where the statistic is coming from, I, I assume he knows more than me so I'm happy to take this at face value because I don't think any of it matters. It takes five years to get to the top of a company. When? For who? For what proportion of the company? Because he's saying it's open to everyone, right? So why isn't everyone at the top of the company? Why do 90% of people fail? If we're going to talk about averages, why don't we talk about the fact that the majority of the people at the company are in the bottom layer, don't make any money or even lose money, and never come anywhere close to making it to the top? Why are there only, say, a thousand people in that top rung, if it is so quick and easy? People can do it really quick, some people get to the top, it takes them a lot longer, but on average it takes people five years. And that's why... Who are these people? Network marketing is a business. People give this industry, or, or might slate it, after working in it for a couple of months. That's, I'm sorry, that's why network marketing is a business. That, that's, that sentence didn't mean anything, right? That didn't make sense. Am I crazy, or did that absolutely not mean anything? He's about to guilt trip again because people drop out after a year or something. <laughs> most people don't have the fucking money to keep investing. But most people don't have the money or the time because they need an actual job to make up for the money they're putting into this scheme that isn't getting them anywhere. Oh, you didn't do it for long enough. Shut up, Joe. For a couple of months and maybe not getting any success. But actually, when you, when you look at these two models, most people will work in these jobs for 30 to 40 years. So you decide, what do you think is better? Working in a job for 30 to 40 years with no hope of getting to the top? Or working in a business model for five years with a high chance of getting to the top. A high chance of getting to the top? I'd love to see those figures. I'd love, to, I'd love to see the statistics on that, if there's such a high chance of getting to the top. First of all, I don't know many, but again, I work in a creative field, so maybe it's slightly different. But in my experience, I don't know many people who have worked 30 to 40 years at the same company. This is just going to be me reiterating things I've already said. But the second thing is, People don't all do a job to get to the top and make the most money. Some of us do jobs that we like because we enjoy doing them and they give us a guaranteed salary. MLM does not. In MLM, it will not take you five years to get to the top because you cannot get to the top as he's described it because you cannot become the CEO. As I <laughs> slightly ranted about earlier, the whole business model, as he keeps talking about, relies on there being people at the bottom and new people coming into the bottom just like a pyramid scheme funnily enough he's not said anything about that he's not mentioned that but then he did say he wasn't going to talk about the differences between pyramid schemes and mlm he said he was going to talk about a different perspective on pyramid schemes what he's actually done <laughs> is talk about the corporate world and mlms by drawing a pyramid and then an upside down pyramid and nothing he said in any way has related to pyramid schemes at all.
it's just irrelevant and frustrating and again relies on guilt shaming people that haven't succeeded as though it's not a scheme completely stacked against them now i'm not saying that all employees and all jobs are rubbish because they're not we we need people to have jobs jobs make this world turn it makes the world go round. okay and if some people are happy going to work every day and they love their job and they don't want any more out of life that is a how fucking condescending we're just the people we just don't want anything more out of our lives we're just we're okay with going to work every day and making somebody else rich which is what he said earlier amazing but there's so many people out there i was one of these people i was in this company i thought let me get as quick close to the top as quickly as possible and that's what i did that was his job. problem but there's so many people there's millions of people out there that are in this pyramid scheme they don't like their job. It's not a pyramid scheme. It's not a pyramid. Corporations aren't a pyramid scheme because there's no recruiting, Joe. You can't be frustrated and act like it's so annoying that people call MLM a pyramid scheme and then call the corporate world that has no relation to pyramid schemes at all a pyramid scheme. That is ridiculous. You're being ridiculous. You can't just draw a pyramid and be like, see, so that's a pyramid scheme because I've written it on lines next to a pyramid. And then underneath draw an upside down triangle and be like, see, this is nowhere, no way a pyramid. It's, it, I just, what, you... But they're not open-minded enough to have a look at other things where they could potentially oh, fuck achieve more in a shorter period of time. You're just not open-minded so enough to do, to do an MLM. Video for tonight, just to open your mind a little bit to comparing this business model to a traditional job and looking at well which one looks yeah it's a really piss poor comparison actually if we if i if i'm going to be honest it's a really piss poor comparison it's extremely biased most of it is factually incorrect it doesn't include any real information on the you know any companies that he has referenced apple for example he's just like drawn a little man at the bottom and some arrows and it doesn't my mind is more closed off to mlm than ever before and to listening to this specific person after watching this video because it is so dishonest and just because he's really friendly while he does it doesn't mean that i'm okay with it you're more captain which one looks like the person at the top makes all the money because to me it's quite an mlm an mlm looks like the person Looks like the company where the person at the top makes all the money. Do you know why? Let's look at an income disclosure statement. Okay, here we go. Here's some Herbalife figures. This is... 2017? I'll put a link in the description anyway. Uh, approximately 50% made less than $370 a year. 10% made $6,965 a year. And only the top 1% made more than $100,000. This is 2020. John Aguanobi? CEO received $7.2 million in total, which increased by 225% compared to 2019. Most distributors made $370 or less. The CEO made $7.2 million. And Joe is trying to say, which of the companies, which of the business models does it seem like the person at the top makes all the money? Um the MLM. The CEO in a normal corporate business will make more money than you. The CEO in an MLM business will also make more money than you. The statistics that I have just briefly looked at indicate that they, the, the, the disparity between you as a distributor and the CEO is much bigger in an MLM than in a normal company. So once again, this is either flawed reason, giving in the benefit of the doubt as much as I can, this is either flawed reasoning or he's misunderstood he's making assumptions without having looked at any actual facts or he's just lying because the disparity between a ceo and a distributor of an mlm is much bigger than the ceo of a company and somebody who makes a regular salary which one looks like the person at the top makes all the money mlm because to me it's quite clear but you yeah to me it's quite clear as well so that's it from me. I didn't want to make this a super long live. I just wanted to draw those two uh, concepts Triangles. out and show you a different side to that pyramid scheme point. Pyramid schemes are illegal. 
Network marketing is a business, it's a, it's a real business model that generates hundreds of billions of dollars to the economy world. Yeah, it generates hundreds of billions of dollars to those CEOs that you hate so much that make all the money. I've never been so disappointed in a video. <laughs> I've never gotten so agitated so quickly. I feel like I've summed everything up already. It was all lies, it was all manipulation, none of it was fact-based. Drawing an upside-down triangle next to a regular triangle doesn't teach anything about pyramid schemes, doesn't teach you anything about MLM, it doesn't teach you anything, it certainly doesn't teach you anything about the corporate world because he's gotten that completely incorrect in about every way you possibly could. It's a full 10 minutes of bullshit and most of it is waffling and buzzwords which is again so MLM. He just said everything out of the MLM playbook. Pyramid schemes are illegal. The corporate world is a pyramid scheme. This isn't a pyramid scheme because I've drawn it upside down and everyone can get to the top, even though that's not true. I don't understand why he made such a point about you not being able to be the CEO of the company you work for when it is equally as impossible to become the CEO of an MLM. So there we go. I hope you've learned nothing, because if you learn something from this guy's video, then um, you're about to get in some trouble. I hope you enjoyed this or at least found my frustration entertaining i hope you can gain something from this because otherwise what is it all for anyway that's all from me today do remember to like this video if you liked it share it if you found it interesting do subscribe so you don't miss the next video i'm live on twitch every week you can catch me on my gaming channel all the links are in the description i'll put those sources that i referenced as well have a lovely week and i will see you very soon mm -hmm.